Sony is trying to get in on the current trend for really big phones with its massive new mobile, the Xperia Z Ultra. But what are the features of Sony's latest toy and how does it stack up against its supersized rival, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2? First up, screen size. The Z Ultra definitely has the Note 2 beat in terms of display real estate, with a screen that measures a shocking 6.4 inches on the diagonal, compared to the Note 2's 5.5 inch panel. Both phones give you a big screen view of movies or web pages that small mobiles like the iPhone can only dream of. While the Note 2 is just about possible to fit in a jeans pocket though, the Z Ultra really is pushing it a bit, so if you opt for Sony's phone, be aware you'll probably need a handbag or a suit jacket pocket at the ready, and you will look truly ridiculous if you try to make a phone call. So that's the basic screen size, but in terms of gadget luxury, that doesn't quite tell the whole story. You also have to take resolution into account. The Z Ultra has a 1920x1080 pixel display, while the Note 2 offers a more modest 1280x720 resolution. If you mix those numbers in with each screen size, you'll find the Z Ultra has a considerably higher pixels per inch count, which means that on-screen icons and text will look a bit sharper. Both phones are very thin and light for their size, but Sony's model just about beats Samsung's on thickness. The Z Ultra is 6.5mm deep, making it quite a bit thinner than the 9.4mm Note 2. Samsung's phone is slightly lighter though. Smartphones keep getting more and more powerful and the Z Ultra continues this trend, finding room in its slim frame for a 2.2GHz quad-core processor. That's an extremely fast chip and it should be quicker than the 1.6GHz quad-core offering in the Note 2. That said, while Sony's phone is faster on paper, in practical terms you're unlikely to see much difference in performance. Both of these phones are easily fast enough to handle pretty much any app or game that you could throw at them, so there's a question over whether you'd really feel the benefits of the Z Ultra's extra clock speed. So what other tricks do these phones have up their metallic sleeves? Well the Note 2 comes with Samsung's S Pen stylus which is useful for doodles or jotting down shopping lists, and there's a special notes app as well that puts that pen to good use, letting you cut in photos and maps, then draw your own annotations over the top. The Z Ultra doesn't come with a stylus, but Sony does say that the screen is so sensitive that you can scribble on it using an actual pencil, though you will have to be careful that your pencil isn't too sharp, presumably. The Xperia Z has one more superpower though. It's waterproof, which means that it should survive being used in heavy rain or being dropped in your pint. That H2O resistance also means you're able to take photos and record HD video underwater, which sounds like it could be fun. Ultimately, I think the Sony Xperia Z Ultra beats the Note 2 on most fronts, with a higher screen resolution and waterproof casing standing out for me as the most exciting features. If you're umming and ahhing over which to buy though, my advice would actually be to hold off on a purchase for a few months, because Samsung is expected to reveal the Galaxy Note 3 in September. We don't know what this new smartphone will look like or what will be in it, but you can be pretty confident that it'll be bigger, faster and have more features, so you may as well hold off for now to see what's new. Which Gigantaphone is your favourite? Let me know, I'm Luke Westway for CNET and that was the Sony Xperia Z Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 2.